Welcome to Sunday Night Vespers. I'm so glad to spend this calming and centering time with you this evening. As we prepare our hearts and minds to hear the Holy Scriptures, let us take three deep breaths together. All night, all day, oh Lord, the angels watching over me, my Lord. All night, all day, angels watching over me. And now I lay me down to sleep, oh Lord, the angels watching over me, my Lord. I pray the Lord my soul to keep. Angels watching over me all night, all day, oh Lord, the angels watching over me, my Lord, all night, all day, angels watching over me. Isaiah chapter 16, starting at verse 8. For the fields of Heshbon languish, and the vines of Shema, those clusters once made drunk the lords of the nations, reached to Jazer and stayed to the desert. Their roots once spread abroad and crossed over the sea. Therefore I weep with the weeping of Jazer for the vines of Sibma. I drench you with my tears, O Heshbon and Elia, for the shout over your fruit harvest and your grain harvest has ceased. Joy and gladness are taken away from the fruitful field. And in the vineyards, no songs are sung, no shouts are raised, no treader treads out wine in the presses. The vintage shout is hushed. Therefore, my heart throbs like a harp for Moab, my very soul for Kirhehes. When Moab presents itself, when he wearies himself upon the high place, when he comes to his sanctuary to pray, he will not prevail. This was the word that the Lord spoke concerning Moab in the past. But now the Lord says, in three years, like the years of a hired worker, the glory of Moab will be brought into contempt, in spite of all its great multitude, and those who survive will be very few and feeble. Romans chapter 15, starting at verse 22. This is the reason that I have so often been hindered from coming to you. But now, with no further place for me in this region, I desire, as I have for many years, to come and see you when I go to Spain. For I do hope to see you on my journey and to be sent on by you once I have enjoyed your company for a little while. At present, however, I am going to Jerusalem in a ministry to the saints. For Macedonia and Achia have been pleased to share their resources with the poor among the saints at Jerusalem. They were pleased to do this, and indeed they owe it to them. For if the Gentiles have come to share in their spiritual blessings, they ought to be of service to them in material things. So, when I have completed this and have been delivered to them what has been collected, I will set out to you by way of Spain. And I know that when I come to you, I will come in the fullness of blessing of Christ. I appeal to you, brothers and sisters, by our Lord Jesus Christ and by the love of the Spirit to join me in earnest prayer to God on my behalf, that I may be rescued from the unbelievers in Judea, and that my ministry to Jerusalem may be acceptable to the saints, so that by God's will I may come to you with joy and be refreshed in your company. The God of peace be with you all. Amen. Friends, thank you for joining me for Vespers again. I always love this time where we can listen to the word of our Lord together as we end our day and look forward to hopefully a restful night. As we close out our time together, I invite you to pray with me by repeating after me. Dear God, thank you for this day. Watch over me as I sleep 
and help me to be your child tomorrow. In your name I pray, amen. Good night, friends.